Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vimal Singh and in this particular video, we will explore how we can protect our meeting invites, calendars and chats. First, we will explore what exactly it is, logical concept, and then we will explore how practically we can implement it. So let's get started. Let's imagine you are an HR associate organizing a virtual meeting to discuss confidential employee salary revisions and the invite accidentally gets forwarded to someone in a different department or the was outside the company and that's the privacy disaster waiting to happen this is where microsoft Puvio sensitivity label or you can say calendar events protection meeting protection and chat protection comes you can say it's your built-in security shield by simply tagging the invite as confidential microsoft steps in like a digital bodyguard locking down the meeting hiding it from unauthorized and even blocking chat from being copy or recording all automatically no extra clicks now let's explore in detail and understand how basically it protects so as you can see at this place your meeting organizer will add the label while creating the meeting and once they add this label label for example we have one label confidential hr only and while creating the meeting if you applied it so whatever the setting you did for this label automatically it will get applied whatever the encryption that you have configured for it will get applied to that place so whenever you organize such a strategy meeting for your management team you you may apply the sensitivity label so it will encrypt the invite and only the management members can read it and join the meeting even if someone try to forward it to junior uh, you can say colleague or the employee, they won't be able to access it. Now, what happens to the meeting when you have such labels applied? So the meeting inherits the protection from the label and even before it starts. Your chats are being protected. People might not be able to copy or forward the messages. Your screen sharing might show watermarks and meeting options are locked. So if the label says only manager can present, then teams will automatically follow the rule and you won't be able to change it in the meeting. Next, what do participants see? So everyone in your company see the label name during the meeting, like confidential or internal use only. So a lock icon appears with the masses and this message is protected by the sensitivity label kind of information you will have. And this basically lets people know that certain thing like recording or the chatting might be restricted in this particular meeting. Now, what setting can be controlled with the help of this uh, information production? So who can join directly? Who can present or share their screen? Who can record or transcribe? If the video or audio is encrypted, if the meeting should auto record it or not, add a watermark on shared content, block chat or copying or sharing the transcripts all this can be controlled with the help of this now why is this useful for it professionals so it's very simple because it reduces the risk of data leaks it helps with the compliance like gdpr and hipaa and it saves the times because setting are enforced automatically and it makes easy to protect sensitive conversation without user error Okay, so I hope you got an idea what exactly it is and why we should consider or think about it. Let's see how we can practically implement it. Okay, so to protect our team's meeting, calendar, events, or chat messages, let's see what we have to do and from where we can do. So you need to log in on Microsoft Puvio as compliance administrator, and then you can go to this information protection inside the information protection you will have labels as you can see we have many labels at this place which is already created or if you wish you can create a new label as per your requirement in this demonstration i will use one existing label if you remember we have already created in our previous video if you have not watched it so kindly go and watch that there you will find the complete detail how we can create the label and what to do the benefit of it so if I come to this place, there we have already created one project of and label. Let's go and edit this. Uh, as you can see, the first thing we need to define the name and the description for it. Let's go next. 
and that's the main option that we need to pick if i want to protect my calendar events and meetings so let's enable this go to next here we have the protection setting so we are going to enable this protection teams meeting and chat settings so we can control those now inside that we have to say that how the permission will get applied so at this place you can see there we have a sign permission option let's click on that and as you can see we have we can assign the permission to these places either it would be all users and group in your organization or only authenticated user or user or groups or maybe a specific email address or domains uh, the second point that you can see that's the main important point right now as you can see one of the permission is selected which is co-author and co-author will have the right of doing to do all these things as you can see here uh, it's not mandatory we have to go with this one if i go to this place there it gives you the option where you can customize and create your own as well so whenever you click on custom you get this option activated now you can pick as per your requirement if you want to allow to save print copy reply reply all or whatever in our demonstration we are not going to pick because we'll go with the existing one which is co-author now go to next at this level we can specify the content marking like we can set the header and the header messages that you would like to publish whenever it will detect highly confidential information we can also enable the watermark and what would be the text for the watermark that we can enable at this place that's the main point for the teams meeting and chat so here we are going to control as you can see we are getting this multiple controls let's take the example of this here we can say control who can present by default it's everyone so we are going to restrict it and we can say only organizer and co-organizer can do it or we can go with let meeting organizer select a specific people who can present or people in my organization and guest can present it so it depends what exactly your requirement is and what type of uh, you can say team meetings you want to target so let's go and select this organizer and co-organizers now the other option that you can see we have control watermarks if i select this one we do have option to enable this so it will apply the watermark to shared content and apply watermark to everyone video feed now the third option that you can see which is prevent copying chat content to clipboard just keep these points in your mind because in our result or final output we can test all this thing now let's go to the next here we have auto labeling for file and emails so for file and email emails if i if i would like to target auto labeling then we can enable it and start targeting it with the help of sensitive um, information it will detect and auto label it but that's not our requirement in this particular demonstration so we'll go without enabling it then we can define the protection setting for groups and sites right now we're not looking for group and site administration it's only for the team so we'll skip that part to explore all this in detail we already have created video for auto labeling and there you can explore all this information now here we can define the privacy and external user access setting skip for it now now we do have defined external sharing and conditional access settings uh, we can also set the uh, you can say conditional access to protect our SharePoint sites, but not required in this particular demonstration. If you have any schematized data, that can also be protected at this place. But again, in this demonstration, that won't be required. So let's go to next. Now, so we did the configuration setting for the Teams and chat. Now we will save this label. We are getting save option because we are modifying the existing one. Otherwise, you will have create option. Now it's created. It's created and let's click on that because we edited it so it will take few minutes to update this existing uh, label so once it is updated then let's go and test it i think it's updated now so let's go there and go to the outlook there we are going to create one event and uh, let's generate the event title now we are going to invite the attendees alex megan and one lee so as you can see this alex and megan is my internal user and this is one of the external user now we are going to define the description which is fine because we have not created auto labeling so what we will do we'll come to this place and here we are getting sensitivity option we are going to pick our sensitivity label so we'll select this project 
obstian. This is the label which we created. Now we are going to send this invite. Now let's see how it looks like whenever my internal users are going to check their invite. And we'll also check how it will look like once it reaches out to external user. So if I'll go to this place, then we can see we logged in as a Alex. And if I'll go to their inbox, Alex can see they received one meeting invite, but that meeting invite comes as a classified as highly confidential. Because this is the tag got associated with it. So that user will come to know this is confidential meeting. And as you can see, the user can also see at this place, which uh, you can say label is being activated at this place and applied to this place. Now the user can accept this meeting in white. Let's see how it looks like when it reaches to the external user. So we logged in now as Lee. And there we can see once the Lee has received this in white, it doesn't show anything at this place because it's encrypted as this is uh, forwarded to the external user. Now, if I'll go to read the message, there we have sign in with one time passcode. And once the user provide that pass passcode and authenticate, then only he or she can see that. Now that user is able to see that and still the tag is coming classified as highly confidential. So user will get to know this is confidential meeting. Now, let's see what happens in the meeting. So let's see here, this Alex has logged in and will join this meeting. Now the Alex is in the meeting as other users are also there. The Ellie is coming as guest and other users are there. The moment uh, you enter into the meeting, as you can see, this watermark is visible inside the meeting as we have set in our label. And also it gives you a message where watermark is being applied to your video feed. Clear message to everyone. Now let's close to this. And here you can see, as we decided, as per the permission, the sharing is disabled for everyone. Now the next, if anyone shares the chat messages, as per our rule, it should not get copy. So let's see it works as expected or not. So let's see here, Megan has sent one chat message in this meeting. Now the user can see this chat message by clicking on chat button. The message is visible. And let's see if someone tries to copy this, what happens? What message you're getting? Due to policy, you cannot copy meeting chats. And this is what we expected at this place. Okay, we got an idea how actually we are going to protect our meeting invites, calendars, and chats. So thank you so much for watching and see you in next.